hello viewers good morning so today i am here in front of you so basically to explain you about one of the training program so which we are having at our vivan engineering consultants so basically so btech people who has done their btech in civil engineering or the mtech people from structural engineering so they are the apt people who can undergo this training and even the working professionals on the site engineer if they want to uh, shift from their site engineering job to office job for doing the planning and design of building so even um, it is useful for them as well so now let me uh, give you the brief about the course so basically uh, the name of the course is like a comprehensive course on computer aided analysis and design of building so why i am telling you computer aided analysis and design is that so we are going to do the analysis and design of building even the detailing uh, 3d elevation of the building everything using a software tools okay so um, when you people are going to join this course so i could assure you that you are going to get intermediate proficiency on these tools so basically again you may not get an expert proficiency because uh, it would require apart from learning these things you need to manually as well uh, gain some knowledge on that part but i can assure you so whatever the knowledge if people are working in a consultancy for two to three years so that kind of proficiency you can get it if you are gonna complete this course with us okay so basically this course consists of uh, multiple uh, software tools like cad so basically uh, i'll be using jw cat so whatever the cat tool you are going to learn so it is going to have the similar type of commands if you are learning one cat tool you can use it in any cat tool as well so basically it's not a challenge okay and then um, i'm going to use the etaps for the uh, superstructure design and then i am going to use the safe tool for the substructure design and then we are going to use the sketchup and vray tool for uh, 3d modeling and the uh, rendering okay and then also we are going to work on a live project from start to end okay so now let me go through uh, step by step okay so what we are going to cover under each tool okay so in the architectural planning and structural designing using cad software so basically you will be um, uh, get to know how to use basic to advanced features of the drafting commands which would be required for you to do the uh, architectural planning and the detailing and we will also be showing you that how do you are going to create 2d floor plans the architectural plans and the elevations and maybe sometimes for the detailing the section drawings and we are also going to teach you what are the working drawings so which you need to create while you basically uh, you are going to give it to the builders when they are going to construct your floors okay and then we are also main important aspect this is the highlight of our course basically so if you are uh, gonna join in any course so most of the time so you will be seeing that people are going to cover only the when you are going to join some cat tool so they will be only covering you uh, that drafting part maybe simply they will be showing you to replicate a plan so but here what we are going to do is that since it's a complete co package which you are undergoing so basically we are gonna cover the detailing so basically people may do the planning they may do the designing but output of the designing showing it onto the drawings is the main aspect so which we could see that most of the places it is getting missed okay so basically on a live project when you are done the designing part using the etaps and safe so we are going to take that output results and we are going to do the uh, designing and detail sorry detailing of the beam in the uh, cad software we are going to do the design uh, detailing of the columns detailing of slabs detailing of staircase detailing of foundations and even the detailing of retaining walls as well on top of it so not only we are going to teach you the cad software so as predominantly in india we would also follow vasu in most of the places so basically we are also going to uh, teach uh, the students about the vasu guidelines so me again the vasu may not be i am an expertise there but however so even that what are the knowledge i am having on following the vasu guidelines which i follow basically in the area so basically i am based out of bangalore karnataka Uh, so uh, predominantly how what are the vastu guidelines we follow for reach rooms entrances everything even the internally furniture where we are keeping the uh, kitchen 
everything every details of aspects in the vastu most of the things will be covering it so you can see uh, this architectural planning and structural detailing using cad software you could see that i am covering you the basic drafting and also i am showing you each and every drawing which we need to submit to the clients starting from the 2d floor plans elevations and we are also covering the working drawings as well as all the structural detailing drawings as well right so next let me move on to the etaps tool so what we are gonna cover okay so as usual in uh, etaps as well so we'll be covering the modeling in etaps so then we are gonna do the load analysis so analysis we are gonna consider like dead load we are gonna consider live load we are gonna consider wind load and we are gonna consider earthquake load uh, but however so this is gonna get be restricted for only for the students from the india so basically we are gonna follow the indian standard code okay and we are gonna do the design and analysis again in the uh, etaps okay so again we are gonna strictly follow the relevant is codes and once the analysis is done and once the design is done and the members structural members are being passed even we do the manual checks as well to see that whether uh, whether the members has passed or not okay if you are not going to do some manual checks sometimes what the etaps results gives is it gives in some ideal cases but we need to do uh, ideally some manual checks as well for us to make sure that nothing is going wrong okay so now again when the superstructure analysis and design is done so we are also going to use those design results to do the detailing part so that is the main aspect okay so next similarly we are gonna do the substructure design so using the safe software okay so here as well we are gonna do the modeling of footing so we are also also gonna consider the load which are going to we need to take it into consideration while we design the footing so basically whatever the loads we are getting it from the um, uh, from the superstructure via the etaps results so we transfer it to the safe software and we do the design of footings and even here as well we uh, use the relevant is codes and also we do the manual checks okay and there comes the uh, next part so 3d visualization and using sketchup and v-ray so basically if you are gonna do the planning and we are going to give the uh, de detailing it is not and giving the working drawings it's not gonna end so basically we also need to give the clients the 3d frontal elevations or the 3d elevations of all the sides of our building so for that we are gonna use uh, tools like sketchup so by using which we are gonna do the 3d modeling and then we are on top of that we are gonna use a v-ray tool so which is going to give, do the rendering of that 3d visuals and give us a nearly a real-time picture of it okay so we will be uh, basically seeing all the basic concepts uh, for doing the building elevations and also we'll be doing the rendering using the v-ray tool okay so apart from that it's not we are gonna individually uh, see each and every tool apart from that what we are gonna do is that we are gonna take a uh, real-time project okay so when i'm telling a real-time project so basically the challenges which we are gonna get is that restricted space it's not that simply we are gonna do an architectural plan in whatever the size of the plot you want so that is not going to be making sense if you are gonna do that or simply replicating also it's not going to make sense right so when you are going to have a restricted size of the plot and what is the offsets we are going to give it so how we are going to plan it in a such a small site right and then based on the offset it is going to impact on the offsets as well so how we are going to cater to it so that is why so when we are going to do it on a real-time project so real-time project from starting from understanding the requirements so maybe i'll be giving the requirements and we need to think it as the requirements from the client so we need to do the architectural plan so then we need to do the design in the uh, etaps and safe and then we transfer that results and we do the detailing again in the autocad and also we do the 3d elevations in sketchup so we are covering each and every part so if you are gonna complete this course so basically so even you will be able to handle a project individually or you may you can do a freelancing works as well so with your contacts which you are going to have so this is the absolute beauty of this course basically so we are covering complete all aspects okay so it is basically again i'm repeating so it's suitable for the civil engineering students or the professionals similarly like structural engineering students are the professionals okay then 
coming on to the uh, last info about the uh, details uh, the team size the phases training mode period of training uh, so basically at present the fees uh, which uh, it is is 70000 per student basically it is including gst uh, so basically i am limiting the number of students per batch not going with a too huge crowd so basically i will be starting a batch if i am going to get some numbers from 6 to 9 if six people is going to join i can start a batch or more than six but again limiting to the maximum number of uh, people to nine so at present i am offering offline mode of training so basically our office is located nearby whitefield in bangalore in india so basically uh, we are at present offering the offline training but of however if there are a group of students from some college and if you people want some online training so if you are going to have at least a minimum of six members in size so then we can even plan for an online training as well but however i prefer the offline training so because we can discuss in detail we can speak face to face although we can discuss the same thing on online as well so the repo or the bond which we get in offline we may not get online so that's the reason so mostly i prefer offline training but however people who are out of not out of bangalore who are far from bangalore and they are not able to take the offline training but if they are gonna have a people of more than six then i'll be able to accommodate and take a online training as well okay and the period of training basically it would be like 20 days so basically i'll be taking it on saturday sunday and the public holidays so it's not only for the students who are undergoing their education even for the working professionals who have vacation on saturday and sunday and the public holidays they can undergo this training uh, so basically i'm having like uh, two slots at present so either you people can choose like a 10 a.m to 1 p.m slot and we are having like a 2 p.m to 5 p.m slot uh, so basic thing why i have planned this on saturday and sunday is that like for most of the colleges in bangalore may maybe they will be having holidays on saturday and sunday even when they are go going to uh, they are pursuing their fourth year project or they are in their third year so basically so that they, they can join these trainings and even the working professionals they can join this training so basic thing is that so apart from that gaining the knowledge which you are going to get by two to three years by working in a consultancy on top of that if you are going to complete this course so either you will be in a well position so to get uh, placements in very good reputed organizations and also if you are willing to take some free consultancy works basically with your contacts which you are going to have so you will be able to do it as well and again so there are some again some specialized courses as well if like two to three people so uh, they want to uh, join the course separately and they want to open their own organization okay even that again the course details for that course fees will be different and the training module for them it will be different so basically me and my team we will be supporting for them to properly do some two to three projects with us uh, from start to end on top of that we will also be supporting them in creating their websites and how to they need to proceed with uh, uh, getting the proper licenses with minimal cost okay so we'll be guiding them as well as for them to uh, create their own organization okay guys if anyone is interested uh, you can uh, reach out to me so basically on my mobile number which you can uh, see here or you can uh, if you want to check this info so basically you can go to our website and you can check the same info which i'm sharing here in my pdf you can see it in our website as well so basically this is of our office location in bangalore so maybe you can find us on um, google as well so google maps as well you can just type as Vivan engineering consultant so you can get the exact location of our office in bangalore so basically if you want a little more info or if you are interested in our training program uh, so you can reach out to us and there is again this uh, program so which we is going to like take like 20 days it's gonna come around like 10 weeks okay and even there are some internship programs as well again so the intention programs would be much more extensive so here we will be covering one project completely start to end and we'll be giving the assignments when as whereas in the internship program so the cost is going to vary and the program for it is going to be for three to six months uh, depending on the cost and the number of people and there we are gonna build a resume for the candidates as well they will be working on uh, some four to five projects and again when i'm telling four to five projects it's not like simply taking the plan someone has created and simply doing the analysis and design it has been completed when i'm telling four to five projects again even that four to five projects is gonna be from scratch okay 
planning designing detailing doing the elevation doing the working drawings okay and not only this we'll also have uh, the experts uh, taking our sessions so who has uh, experience in uh, designing high rise buildings as well okay so you can clear your doubts if you are going to have anything on the structural design as well as we are having an expert who has an experience in designing more than 20 floors as well and uh, vast experience and designing residential buildings but only thing what i would uh, want to highlight is that in this program we are only going to cover the rcc designs not the steel structures yeah that is one point which we need to um which we want to uh, let you know prior uh, okay okay well, if anyone is interested you can reach out to the info which i have mentioned thank you for watching have a nice day